Uh, what country in the world has the greatest number of internet users? Bro, what'd you say? India? Okay, the answer is China. What's second? The answer is India. And look, China has, and what's third? Yeah, dude, what's third? Don't miss that one, the US, <laughs> all right. So China, by far and away, is, it's over 700 million internet users in China. The US has less than half of that, has about 280 million, and India is in between. So, okay, it's just a way to kind of reorient, y'all, over 700 million internet users in China, more than double what is the United States. So just let that sink in, right? You know, we live, we, you know, we're in the U.S. Most of us in this room, if we've traveled outside, most Americans certainly in this room, if we travel outside the United States, we haven't, we've gone to maybe like Acapulco or Cancun or somewhere, you know, maybe uh, London, but, you know, not really putting ourselves in the shoes of someone on the other side of the world and really seeing and understanding what's happening in the world. What do you think? I would say vodka. Vodka? Dude. Probably vodka. All right, listen. It seems unanimous that the answer is vodka. However, by far and away, the answer is C. And how many? So here's a question. We're living in a college town where it seems like one of the favorite pastimes is drinking. How many of you have never heard of soju? Raise your hands. In a college town, that the, the, the primary hobby is consuming alcohol. Look, spirits, of the brands of spirits, brands like Smirnoff Vodka and Beef Eater Gin and that sort of thing, of the brands of spirits, two of the top three brands of spirits that are consumed in the world are brands of soju. The number one spirit or liquor in the world is soju. It's a brand of soju. Number two is Smirnoff vodka. Number three is another brand of soju. And soju is like this pure, it's like moonshine. It's the equivalent of moonshine. It tastes like rubbing alcohol in my humble opinion. And it's really fascinating to me that especially in a place where drinking is such an important pastime that we don't know that. And so many of you have never heard of soju, never even heard of it. Two of the top three, which means if we don't know that people around the world are consuming soju in such massive quantities, Something very simple, especially for us, since we're experts on consuming alcohol here. If we don't know that, what makes us think that we understand anything else about, let's say, China or Korea? Or think about right now, we're in this trade war, right? Think, you know, so, you know, uh, President, uh, what's his name? Trump. Trump has kind of kicked off this trade war. Well, he would say he didn't kick it off. He didn't start the fight. He would say other people started the fight. And so he's now kicked off the trade wars. Like he's taking it to the next level. Some people would say he kicked it off. And how many Americans can sit back and say, oh, yeah, yeah, because, you know, we're getting a raw deal on these tariffs and stuff. So we got to raise the tariffs and like the Chinese this and the Chinese that. What makes us think we know anything about China? We don't even know or Korea or anywhere else in Asia when we know nothing about soju. That's a simple, that's low-hanging fruit, y'all, right? That's so low-hanging that I have to get on the ground to pick it. It's so low. Something like the reasons or the need for a trade war or increased tariffs or something really complicated or the fact that China is, is now moving into Africa in new ways. Yo, know, that stuff is so complex. And yet I can sit at the corner bar and pound down beers thinking that I know something about it, and I don't. Who knows what those two numbers are? This is just in the past week. Anybody want to guess? Dude. Dude, what, what is it? It was for a music video. Yeah, by who? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know? It was the new record for Dude, exactly. Hours. Next slide, bro. And there's the band. 
So they surpassed in 24 hours, my friends. In 24 hours, they surpassed the record set by all-American Taylor Swift with 45 million views, downloads and views, or listens, whatever you want to say, of their song. It's like whatever the hit song is. Dude, 45 million or in 24 hours. Taylor Swift's record was like 43 and a half. How many have ever heard of this band? How many have never heard of this band? Never heard of them. How's, who's Korean in here, by the way? Wait, who's Korean? Who speaks Korean? I need help real fast with something. Can you just pronounce that? Bangtan Sonyeondan. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Yo, be quiet. We want to hear this. Dude, you, you want it. You just like it's important to understand uh, bands, you know, people like Taylor Swift and all. You want to know who these, these guys are. I mean, it means like bulletproof guys. Yeah. Bulletproof guys? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So Bangtan means bulletproof? Yeah. Kind of? Yep. And guys, so, how do you say the second word? Sonyeondan, that's like a boy group. Boy, it's like I, it means boy group. I guess literally, yeah. It's striking to me that we live in a very insulated world that we live in. And one of the things that I want to do in this, ca in this class is bust us out of the insulated world. The, around the world, these dudes are shattering records and the vast majority of you never even heard of them because we live in this place, like this sort of tunnel. The vast majority of Americans, and if you all haven't heard of them, the vast majority is certainly of other Americans. Next slide, bro. Okay, so we're going to talk about Asian cool today. Asian <laughs> is the new cool. A lot of people think if they could get 45 million downloads in 24 hours, there's a lot of people around the world who think they're cool. And that matters. If you want to call yourself multicultural, if you want to think about yourselves, if we want to think about ourselves as citizens of the world, if we want to think about ourselves as educated, if we want to walk out into the world as Penn State students and be competitive in a global market, those of you in particular who are studying business and studying finance and studying marketing and you want to go out and you want to get those finance jobs making a shit ton of money and all that kind of stuff, if you don't know things like who these guys are, you're not going to compete in the world that is emerging. You just are not. It's a different world, y'all. If you want the edge, if you want the edge, this is the stuff you got to know. This is where it is. It's the global marketplace.